guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a really hot day here. It's summer in the middle of Sydney, Australia, and we're gonna do some outdoor gardening, which is probably why you can see a little bit of sweat hanging off me today. It is early morning still, but it's going to be a beautiful hot day. So it's time to spend a bit of time out in the garden. Um, and as you might have seen in the header, we're going to fix a plant that I've been neglecting a little bit. E, sorry, plant. Now the plant is on this stand. This is my outdoor stand. This is where I put some plants to recover or die or you know, I kind of half ignore them but it's beautiful bright indirect light under a bit of shelter I've got a veranda up there uh, and the plant we're going to fix is right down the bottom so let's go straight to it this poor guy down here. Uh, you can see some new leaf just here, just here, but obviously there's a whole lot of growth there that isn't working and he is coming up on the side so he's still healthy. He just probably needs a bit of help getting beautiful I guess. We need to get rid of all the dead leaves. There's a lot of old stuff that he's cutting. I'm probably going to cut him up quite significantly. So there's the uh, corner. Shall we now go fix the plant? Oh, there we go. Look at him. Ooh, stepping on him. Look at him. See, beautiful big leaves coming across there. But <laughs> he's a bit sad. Yeah. Okay, so we've got our plant here, <laughs> the poor guy, and we're going to try and fix him today. So what I've done is I've put him outside, put a mat down. You can see this pink mat here. It's waterproof. It's a gardening mat so we can uh, do things on the table without damaging the table. And I've got my Fisca scissors and of course um, a shovel because we're going to repot him into a slightly smaller pot. Before I go into trying to fix it and, and do what I'm going to do, and I am going to chop him up a bit because he's got strands of no leaves everywhere. I'm going to talk a little bit about what you see here. So basically I've got leaves here that are dark and crispy. I hope you can hear that, right? Basically what that's telling me, it was really dry at one stage. Now I had this guy outside and honestly I neglected it. I didn't water it here and there. Um, it is a very hardy plant though. It's a heart leaf, beautiful, basic beginner plant. Um, and it can stand a little bit, not a lot, but it can stand a little bit of inconsistency here and there. So I thought it would get away with a lot more than it did outside. It's gone through winter. And unfortunately, I just didn't give it enough water or enough light to keep the energy going to keep it beautiful. However, as you can see, so it's got strands all the way, right? It's got strands all the way. There's roots, big aerial roots coming off of the strands and basically he is still growing. He's gone against all the odds and he is literally still growing. So you can see leaves, 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 but then it's really strandy for a long time. So what I want to try and do is cut the leaves off. I'm going to propagate this guy. These are beautifully big, so it's almost as big as my hand. Uh, but compared to the original leaf sizes, he's doing quite well. Right, so he's still growing, he's got a long stem, so I'm going to cut him up, but the dry leaves are telling me he was definitely underwatered and they got brittle and they got crispy. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the size of the pot because if I look at this pot, you can't see it very well, but it's got one, two, three, four uh, stems. I can't see any roots coming out of the base. Uh, and I do think the size of the pot is actually a little too big. The reason I think that is because, look, it is a hardy plant, but I'm going to look after this plant now, which means I don't want to overwater it, which is ironic, I guess, because I have completely underwatered it for a long time. But I'm going to look after him from a new healthy pot. So I don't want too much water sitting in the base of the pot. So the bigger the pot, the more water it holds for a longer term. I'm going to put him into a smaller pot just to keep him safe. Plants prefer to be what they call root bound. It's basically where the roots uh, kind of get stuck in the in the pot a little bit and they go around the edges. I'm literally gonna start this guy from scratch uh, because one, doesn't look very nice. 
Two, it's got some new growth. And three, I know this will come back because plants are pretty hardy. And this is what we do when we're trying to fix plants. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a node and I'm going to cut one to two centimeters above the node. I'm going to cut it just above where the leaves are coming out on all four, literally all four. One, uh, I'm going to do that there. Two, three, and four. And I've got one more node. Okay. So that is nothing. Now I'm going to repot him into, you can see there now, it's quite a big pot, quite a lot of space at the base. I'm going to put him into a slightly smaller pot. It's going to go from 200 millimeters to 180 millimeters. And then these, these other guys, I'm just going to propagate. I'm not going to propagate the whole thing because I don't have enough propagation space. Uh, but what I am going to do is perhaps propagate some of the thicker stems and of course some of the more newer beautiful bigger leaves let me cut it up uh, into bits and pieces and then we're going to propagate it in different types so this is where i cut it this base nice and simple and i'm following it all the way and i'm seeing lots of old little nodes the stem is pretty flimsy and then it starts to get a little bit harder and i can start to see growths coming out one there one there one there it's getting a bit longer and then again, see there's a root this is coming up there, aerial roots. There's one there, there's a couple there. So you can see these aerial roots. So actually they have more of a chance of propagating where the aerial roots come out. And then of course we get to the really big long aerial root that I showed you before. So I'm actually going to chop this all the way up to perhaps the first uh, aerial root that seems to have started to take off. So I'm going to chop him all the way there. I'm going to throw that part out because I don't need him. Uh, get rid of all these leaves get rid of all the old dead brown leaves that don't do anything yellow leaves as well they don't do anything they're not going to grow back <laughs> they're not going to get better and you can get rid of them okay so let's get back to propagation i'm going to cut up a few pieces so bear with me i'll come back okay so what am i going to do with this last one this is the last cutting this is the one with most of the roots so we're going to do a little bit of propagation in a propagation box. Now I usually like to keep at least two or three nodes on the cutting. So that's what I'm going to do with this one. Two or three. Keep three there and three there. Three there as well. Okay. So one, two, three. I'm also looking at the leaves and the leaves themselves are a little bit spotty. So I'm going to get rid of those two leaves at the bottom. So we're just going to rip them off. Okay. Throw them away. So now that can become a new base with the roots and that can become a top leaf. I'm going to literally cut it there. So one centimeter above. And then again, uh, I've got a root coming out there. This guy's a little bit flimsy. It probably could have been uh, okay with some water, but I don't want to spend energy trying to fix this leaf. So I'm gonna pop it off again. Okay, so we've got a root and a node, a node, a node. So I'm gonna cut above that one. And then that leaves one final piece there. Again, two, two leaves, but big leaves. And looking at them, I think they're very, very pretty. So I'm going to keep them both on. Okay, so the other thing we need to do is actually repot this guy, as I said, into a smaller pot. So I'm actually going to tip it all out. And I'm literally going to repot it into this guy, which is a little bit smaller. It's an old reused pot. <laughs> you can see there it's worn off. An old reused pot. So I'm going to fit all four stems into there. And I'm going to reuse the soil because the plant has actually been growing quite nicely when I've given it the right environment. It's always about the environment. Um, the soil is nice and chunky. All I'm going to do is add perhaps some fertilizer mixed into the soil. So let's do that together. So let's tip this out. Uh, yeah, just dry, poor guy. To get him into a smaller pot, I just need to tickle the roots. It's very dry, I haven't watered it yet. Now look. Yeah. <laughs> right, so just shuffling. I'm not breaking them, I'm not cutting them up. I'm literally just squeezing together. All right, there we go. So it's actually smaller now. Okay, so now we need some fertilizer. I've got some compost here. It's actually worm compost. It's called vermicast. You can use any compost you'd like or fertilizer that you like, but I love this stuff. I'm just literally going to mix it into the soil and I'm going to pop it back in. All right, so we're going to mix it in to the soil. Grab a new pot, soil to cover the bottom centimeter or two. Go. Now I've squeezed him so he will fit in. I will definitely have soil left over. Okay, press it down and then just pop the rest of the soil in. Shimmy as we go. Get it all down the bottom. Obviously, it's not all going to go down the bottom uh, because it's not all going to fit in because it's a smaller pot. So we're going to shimmy it. 
shake it a bit, shake it, shake it, shake it. A little bit more soil. Now what I'm doing is putting the soil back in. I still want to leave a centimeter at the top level, but I'm pressing it down so the roots have something to grab onto, okay? So knock, knock it around, make sure all the soil is falling to the base. Okay, so it's a smaller pot, so be nice of then. It's got a couple of leaves to help the roots grow. I'm going to put it into some bright indirect light, and I'm also going to water it thoroughly with some sea salt. The products and everything that I've, I've seen and used here, obviously, is not sponsored. I'm still very new at this. But I'm going to use sea salt. Now, this isn't a fertilizer. This is a seaweed tonic. I'm sure you've got a seaweed tonic of sorts uh, from any other brand. I'm pretty sure sea salt is the brand here. <laughs> Time to itch your nose when you've got dirty hands. This just helps with a little bit of stress. So when times are stressful or when it's really, really hot, it's really good to go the day after it stops getting hot and just water with a little bit of uh, seaweed tonic to help with the stress. Some people use like um, aquarium fertilizer water. That's actually why they use it because it's actually really good for plants. It's a good um, good tonic for plants. Um, so there you go. I've done the propagation now. I've popped all of those cuttings into a jar uh, and I've literally just filled the water up to a level that is above the first lot of nodes. So that's where the roots can grow from. There's our new pot with the same cuttings in there, just a little bit smaller pot. I've watered it so it's nice. The, the potting mix is nice and dark. And then our propagation box, which I have created before. I've actually done another video, so I'll leave a link to that video before. Um, but I've just popped it into my propagation box. Three sticks, there's a few wet sticks in there now. So they're all going to propagate together. And I'll keep this in a warm environment with a lot of light on the top so it can grow. So yeah, bright indirect light. I'm going to look after this guy this time, give him some leafy lovin'. See what I did there? I'm gonna give him some lovin', some more lovin' than I did last time and make sure he grows properly uh, and get some new plants out of it. So I've saved him, he now looks a lot healthier or at least he's on the start of his new journey. Anyway, so thank you very much for joining me. That's it, we've fixed a sick plant. We've made him new and fresh again, and hopefully he'll grow bigger and beautiful and we'll take care of him this time. Thank you very much for joining me on another Leafy Love video, and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Ciao for now. Bye.